Hey there folks, uh, Jason here again, and I wanted to give you an update on my progress with the Great Bolt Action Paint Off, henceforth known as TGBAPO. And uh, I said the first thing on my list that I was going to paint was uh, uh, extremely zoomed in, uh, uh, the German veteran uh, Grenadier Squad from uh, Warlord Games. And uh, I have to uh, say I wasn't super keen on the kit at first, but it did grow on me. So what I want to show here is the uh, is the paint scheme. And I'll uh, have my miniatures up. I tried to emulate it as much as possible. Uh, I wanted my guys to look a little dirtier. Now, some of that's also because I'm not the world's strongest painter when it comes to faces. Um, but I tried to emulate. You can see here, in particular, some of the uh, camouflage patterns are a bit... Uh, complex. And so, uh, well, uh, rather than keep talking about it, I'll just show you what I did. So we'll set that aside for now. And so it took me about two evenings worth of painting. But I got these guys. Let's zoom in here a little bit. I'm trying manual focus now because it seems, seems to have better luck with that. So uh, a 10 man squad here. Let's see if I can get a little bit more light on this. Shed some light on the subject. So we'll take a look at uh, and I, and if you look at the kit, if you haven't already, if you're not familiar with it, uh, they're all just basically ten men. Uh, there's a sergeant in there who could be a sergeant. There's not like a clear sergeant. Uh, it ends up being uh, where is he? This guy here. Let's take a closer look at him. Manual focus. Okay. Uh, so he's kind of uh, sitting down and, you know, he's got his binoculars and he's gesturing forward. So every one of these guys uh, ha is armed with an assault rifle. So I don't know that this, well, most people I think if you ask them would say that this kit isn't, uh, or this unit in the game wouldn't be the most efficient use. I just think it's awesome. I'm going to do a Panzer Grenadier Force. These guys will be my vets. They're wearing the... Uh, uh, special uh their camouflage i guess it's a tent that they used to uh or like a, they're using their tents that they used to have as a poncho and we'll see here if, if i can do a side by side so i tried to um emulate some of the camouflage and i think i did an okay job it's not perfect the back might show up a little bit better but i'm pretty pleased with how they came out uh the camouflage isn't dead on but they are camouflaged and uh, all I did for the base was uh, the MIG European Dry Earth, which I will do a review on, uh, some clump foliage, and then uh, grass tufts. So let's look at another one. Here, here's another guy. Oh, yeah, I don't have to do that. Uh, the models were all pretty good. Some of the faces were a bit strange. Like this guy looks kind of uh, oafish almost. Uh, but here's another example of the camouflage pattern that I painted. The green may be a little bit too bright, but you also have to adjust this for tabletop. Uh, and you can see the base there where I've got a grass tuft jammed in with some uh, clump foliage. So I think they blend in well. They'll blend in with the rest of the army. Uh, let's just take a look at another look. These guys are all metal. I don't have to hold my hand up anymore. Sweet. Uh, I didn't actually paint eyes on all of them, just a couple of them, because some of them, the eyes wouldn't have really shown up that well. Or I didn't have to because they were underneath the uh, um, the brims of their helmets or things. Uh, so there's a good example of the camouflage. These guys kind of have a mix of uniform types because they're supposed to be at the end of the war. Where's another good one? So this guy's just kind of ordinary. Uh, here's a problem with one of the heads that I found. Oh, that's as good as we're going to get. I don't know if it was a miscast or what. I end up treating that side thing as a bandage. I think it might have been a miscast. We'll say this guy's injured, but he just has, has kind of a basic uniform. Um, you can see a lot of these. Should keep it in, in focus here. Uh, so he's kind of just ordinary looking, but these guys do have a mix. Some of them have camouflage, some don't. There's another good one that I really ended up liking. Sorry. So this guy. He's uh, all wrapped up. There's one I painted the eyes on. I think it came out all right. Not perfect. I like the camouflage on this guy. I think it came out pretty well. 
And then there's one more guy here. I was really pleased. It's going to be the last one I pick up to show you guys. I was really pleased with how the face turned out. Here it is. So this guy kind of wanted to look, uh, you know, he's got, uh, you know, a bit of growth of beard on there. You know, these guys are kind of fighting their way back into Germany or uh, either from the east or from the west. So they're definitely under a fair bit of uh, pressure and maybe not, uh, maybe clean, cleanliness standards have, uh, have suffered a little bit. So anyways, uh, I like the kit. Uh, it's metal models. It didn't, wasn't too hard to assemble. It's a couple mold line issues, nothing too, nothing too strenuous. So it definitely feels good to have uh, this unit done. They may not be the most competitive game-wise. Uh, there's no uh, Panzerfaust or light machine guns or anything in here with them. It's just 10 guys with a sergeant who is uh, this guy here. Uh, but I'm more than happy to throw these guys in a Hanamag half track and just charge them up the field and they're gonna pump out all kinds of shots uh, I think they look cool and uh, You know what that's all that uh, that's all that really matters. So uh, hope you guys uh, liked the update. I am now moving on to The Kubelwagen once I get this in focus per, per the list the Kubelwagen, which hopefully won't take me too long to put together. In fact, I may put it together tonight and then paint it tomorrow night or this weekend. And then next on the list is my uh, uh, 75mm uh, light howitzer, I think. It's howitzer. And then uh, the 120mm heavy mortar. So those will be next. Then I get to do something fun, I think. I'll have to see what comes up after that. Uh, hopefully something a little bit more fun. Uh, so bottom line, infantry not bad. Glad I've got another unit I can put up on the shelf. And I actually now can field a legal army. I've got that one small unit of uh, here painted up in a different paint scheme, unfortunately. And, and these guys. So I've got a legal army now. But we're going to see what we can do to make it a little bit better. So uh, I hope everybody else's TGBAPO TIG BAPO uh, Bolt Action Paint Off is going well, and I hope to have another update soon. So I uh, hope you guys are going to having a good week, and we're almost to the weekend, and so uh, happy wargaming.